Hello good people, this is Fisher12 back with another exciting Black Ops 3 Zombies video for you guys today. As always, and today I have some secret intel on future Zombies DLC maps. With Black Ops 3 Zombies and specifically the showcasing of the giant map, there's been a lot of discussion around other potential zombie map remakes. And yesterday, Treyarch released a History of Zombies video that could confirm two more map remakes. In that video, which I'll link down below, there is a split second, literally one frame, that shows an altered moon loading screen. And compared to the original, there are many noticeable differences. Now, I think this tells us two things. First, we are without a doubt altering the original timeline, but more so than we previously thought. And second, at least in my opinion, past Zombies maps, absolutely have to be revisited in order to give context to these changes. So let's start with the left half of these images and work our way over. A lot of these ads have been removed in this new moon loading screen, and it is difficult to make out some of the text around the removed ads, but there are definitely some readable and crucial changes that I want to highlight. We have missing hellhounds, no more Nova 6 tank ad, gamma ray specs have been removed, the Vril device is missing, and the space showing the Shangri-La loading screen has been covered up. I'm not positive what all these changes mean for sure, but we can definitely make some strong assumptions about some of them. I think the two most important ones are the missing Vril device and covering up the Shangri-La loading screen. Firstly, the Vril device which was used to power the MPD on Moon tells us that the Call of the Dead map doesn't happen. If you remember, part of the easter egg on that map is to locate and give the Vril device to the original zombie squad. Since that has been removed from the ads, that makes it completely irrelevant for now. However, the ad for the MPD's real interface is still present, so we know that the MPD is still on the moon and of importance even in this new timeline. Second, covering up the Shangri-La loading screen tells me that whatever the story was behind that loading screen has been changed as well. There was a lot of speculation that the Shangri-La loading screen was showing us some catastrophic event that ended up lifting a temple and carrying it all the way to the moon. Now, I don't think Shangri-La has been eliminated from this new timeline, and I'll explain why in a minute. Now, if we move over to the right side of the image, the changes here really open up the Theory Vault to make for some great discussion, which I hope you all will continue in the comments down below. First off, Griffin Station has been completely removed. The moon looks mostly untouched, so that either means a serious change has been made to prevent the space station from being built, or that it hasn't been built yet. Next, the astronauts that were previously walking away from us are now walking towards us. Why? I'm not sure, but I think the lack of astronauts is also of some importance here, and something else to note is that the temple, which supposedly came from Shangri-La, is still there, and if we see a moon remake, that could give some greater context to the ancient astronaut image that we saw earlier in the year, and in case you missed my video discussing that image and ancient astronaut theory, I'm going to link it on the screen right now. And then lastly, the excavator has been replaced with Samantha's shadow. Now, since I showed the image earlier, the background behind Samantha's shadow should set a light bulb off in your head. That's Shangri-La, and if you remember me saying I don't think Shangri-La has been removed from this new timeline, this is why. So to wrap this all up and tie it with a bow, I would bet that we will see remakes of Moon and Shangri-La, but from different points in time than in Black Ops 1. In Black Ops 1, both these maps take place sometime after the year 2000. No one's really entirely sure what year they happen in, but it's definitely after the year 2000. But in Black Ops 3, I think these remakes are going to take place around 1942. The moon map will take place right before Griffin Station is built, right when Richtofen first discovers the MPD, and if you remember correctly, he gets teleported to Shangri-La and is there for three weeks before returning back to Doris. And somewhere in that three week period is when the Shangri-La remake will happen. And I was going to end the video there, but even just thinking about the greater zombie storyline, it will be interesting to see how these remakes fit in, because at Doris, Samantha was supposedly teleported to the moon, and Maxis was teleported to Shangri-La. But now we see Samantha on Shangri-La, so does that mean Maxis is on the moon? We're going to have to wait and see. But guys, that is going to do it for the video that I have for you today. If you enjoyed any part of it, please drop a like. But even more importantly, I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. I'm sure there are aspects I overlooked that could answer some of our remaining questions. So please let me know down below. And lastly, if you're new here or maybe just stumbling across this video, hit that subscribe button, join the conversation, and be ready for some more great Black Ops Speed content in the future. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and take care.